This is Hugo the Basset Hound, and he came to Doggy Starling for a mammoth tea shed. The word Basset roughly translates to rather low, describing the short-legged stature of the breed. Although they're physically similar in build to a bloodhound, the breed was developed alongside its taller counterpart in France. They're believed to have descended from Norman staghounds, a now extinct breed of hunting dog. A mutation caused very short legs, but the body and head the same size as the larger dogs. These lower dogs were useful for hunting game on foot, as hunting on horseback was the preserve of the gentry. The modern Basset was developed in the UK in the late 19th century. Basset Artisian Normans, as they were known at the time, were crossed with English bloodhounds to produce a heavier set dog. Hugo certainly shows off the heavy build and the prominent jowls of the modern Basset. Bassets are most commonly kept as companion dogs in the UK, but they can still be found in hunting packs. The hunting dogs tend to have a shorter ears and a slightly longer straighter legs. Hugo is having a mud mask today to help with his shedding. Although the Bassets coat is relatively short, as a double coated breed they can drop a lot of hair. We massage the mud in gently to collect together loose undercoat, allowing it to be removed without excessive brushing or raking. After a spectacular shake, we towelled him off and headed back to the table. Hugo wasn't phased by our blasters. Although his coat is quite short, it takes a surprising amount of time to dry. Waterproof coats are very good at keeping the dog's skin dry, but can consequently trap moisture after a bath. The Basset Hound's short legs are due to a type of dwarfism called osteochondrodysplasia. Unfortunately, this can also cause enlarged joints and differing growth rates in the long bones of the legs. This is what causes the slightly outward turn of the paws. The severity of this rotation varies with each dog, but generally speaking, the shorter the front legs, the more splay they will be. Hugo has some mild staining on his neck, which is likely due to moisture gathering between the folds of the skin by the collar. Basset hounds can be prone to yeast infections, so owners need to clean and thoroughly dry any areas where the skin overlaps. We attempted to clip Hugo's nails with varying levels of success. In the end, we unfortunately had to leave his front nails, as he really wasn't keen on having them clipped. The last step was raking to remove any remaining loose undercoat. Fortunately, the mud mask had taken care of most of it.
Hugo seemed to have enjoyed his groom, or at least everything but the nail trimming. Now looking a bit more respectable, Hugo was ready to get back to a more sedate way of life. <laughs>